Welcome to SherwoodFeeds.co.uk and today folks I'm going to show you a couple of kind of interesting points about the difference of an acoustic and a digital piano and for me the, the um, kind of interesting fact about this particular duo of pianos is we've got a 1976 Yamaha U1 and we've, um, we, we've already said it's probably one of the most distressed Yamaha U1s we've ever had here in the showroom. It's came in as a trade-in uh, and you'll see this in other videos, we've done a few videos on this piano. Uh, it does open up a few good conversations about pianos, the life span of a piano, um, how a piano behaves after time, um, obviously in you know, a good quality piano and why a uh, good quality piano does last maybe longer than something that's maybe been made poorly in the first place. Um, and then that against something like the Roland HP3E in the Rosewood case, this is, um, I guess, probably about 12 years old. Um, I've not checked that completely, but something between 10 and 15 years old, just as an idea of age. Uh, a lot of digital pianos at that age are either already completely knackered, um, there'll be broken keys, um, there'll be broken electronic parts, and the, the, there is a little bit of veneer lift on this piano and stuff like that, so the, there tends to be quite obvious um, problems with digital pianos at this kind of age. But, this one's not been used overly much um, and that for that reason the actual lifespan of the keyboard's been preserved whereas we look at something like the Yamaha U1 here um, and certainly you'll see it in some of our other videos about this, this particular piano the casework has been, it's been knocked about, it's been on many concert hall stages it's been in studios and it's been a real hard working gigging piano uh, I've got a few bass strings missing but other than that the piano is complete. We've taken the front door and the fall board, the key lid, off of this piano just to demonstrate it a little bit closer, a wee bit more intimately. Uh, but the serial number is 2183096 for any of you that may be interested in that. We have done absolutely nothing to this piano as it, it's the way it came in, so we could give this the action a service. Um, there is actually some life left on the hammers. We could probably give it a bit of voicing and give it a bit, bit of tone back into the piano and look at replacing the strings or just even replacing the bass strings would do a wonderful job of uh, reinstating the voice in this piano. Um, so I'll play this over to you and then I'll, I'll go to the, the Roland and we'll talk about some of the, the aspects of a uh, digital piano at that kind of age again. Um, but for me, this piano has uh, still got soul, it's still got life, it's 46 years old, uh, but it's a little bit older than me, I know you've still got to believe that, but it is. Um, and yeah, I, I do believe that uh, there'll be many a person out there that would like this piano exactly the way it is. Maybe replace the three bass strings at, at £10 a string, plus a little bit of labour, it's not exactly a big job. Give the action a service, okay you've got a tired case, um, but that might suit your scenario. You might even want to do some sort of artwork on it or something like that and make a bit of a project out of it. Not a problem. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
So as you can see in here, folks, the, this piano has actually still got a lot of soul. It's still got a lot of life left in it. Um, the action's playing pretty well, all things considered. It's, it's, it's still, I, I can sit and play this piano very happily and, and certainly have done quite a lot since it arrived here at Sherwood Phoenix. Um, so, yeah, any questions, drop in the comments. By all means, come down and see this piano before it's sold. It is on eBay just now, so it might, it might find its buyer uh, first time round. Um, and certainly if it doesn't, Come down and speak to us. We also have many Yamaha U1s and U3s in stock. If you're looking for something that's not tired around the, the, the edges of the case, not missing bass strings, we do have fully refurbished Yamaha U1s here um, in stock just now. And certainly they will come at a higher price, but you can expect that. So moving on to the Roland HP3E. Um, the, 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 the major defect on this one, or I want to say major defect, but really it's just a case casework defect on the side, um, a little bit of lifting veneer. You sometimes find that um, on, on these after that kind of age. It's possibly been that it's been close to a radiator and the glue's just slowly, slowly deteriorated and it's allowed the, the veneer to lift off the, the casework. Uh, other than that, the the piano keyboard is plain as, as you'd expect it to. The speakers are all working and the truth of it is, this piano's not had a lot of use and that is the reason why it, it, at its age of between 10 and 15 years old, but it's still working today. Um, it's got a few voices, obviously volume control, brilliance control. Um, you can transpose the keyboard, you can record yourself playing. It's got some features that obviously an acoustic piano is not going to have, um, unless of course you fit a silent system to it, which you could do. You could even fit a silent system to a piano of this age. There's no restrictions to that really. Uh, we can make that work on any piano. Um, so a lot of the benefits people talk about, a digital piano allows you to practice in the evenings or you know, when the kids go to sleep or anything like that, it's completely true, it's a great tool for that, um, but a silent system and an upright acoustic piano or a grand piano uh, overcomes those problems as well, so it depends, sometimes it's budget related, if you've maybe not got the budget for the real piano, um, an acoustic, then you, you'd maybe want to consider the digital option again. Uh, but personally, when we start, I'll, I'll actually just go through this quickly and I'll do one quick comparison run from, uh, from left to right. Uh, I'll just go through the keyboard, here we go. For me, there's just a lack of soul in a, in a piano like this, um, and that is where the, for, for me, the, the the big difference between acoustic and digital. Uh, regardless, even though this is an older uh, digital piano, some of the more modern digitals, even at two and three and four thousand pounds, don't have that depth of character and soul in the, the sound you, you just get from the real acoustic piano. Uh, let me play this one over to you. Here we go. Yes, folks, if you want to come down and try either of these two pianos, please be my guest. We're here Monday to Saturday, 10 to 5, and any other time by appointment. Um, this piano is also on eBay just now, and it will probably sell. 
uh, the first time round, we tend to take the pianos like this in as trade-ins, and it's normally the case where somebody's trading a piano like this in, just at the point where they're upgrading to the real acoustic piano. Um, one of the other things I should mention is, the nice thing about a digital piano, and it's been said a million times before, it's one of the benefits in a sense is, it's always in tune. Um, you go to a piano like this, it's not been tuned, this piano's not been tuned probably over a year, and it's still sounding relatively good. Um, and that can vary from piano to piano, and de definitely central heating uh, will change the piano tuning or an acoustic piano, whereas digital piano, you've never, never got that problem. Uh, however, one thing that's more and more important in 2022, particularly here in the UK, and no doubt throughout other parts of the world, if you're maybe watching in a different country, is that electricity and energy costs are getting so high um, that actually, arguably, we are actually going to do a video very soon just to demonstrate using a piano like this. I sometimes, when I'm practicing, I can play three or four hours in a day, but probably the average player, maybe you're playing 20 minutes, one hour, maybe you put, plug the, your, your digital piano in, plug it, put it on, and you leave it on, you forget to turn it off. It might have, it, it might have a cut-off switch timer built into it, but if you leave your digital piano running all day, all of a sudden you've got costs. So sometimes people talk about the costs of digital piano um, and the maintenance against the, the cost of maintaining an acoustic piano. And actually, there is always an argument there, but it might be just the simple cost of el electricity and energy now might outweigh the cost of running an acoustic piano if you're playing maybe between 30 minutes and an hour a day. Um, but yeah. Any questions, if you've got any questions or you want to ask us a question that we can maybe help you give you the answer to, we're always happy to answer questions and we'll do our best to answer it in a video. So we're not just answering it for one person, but we're answering it for everyone. In the meantime, folks, thanks again for watching. We're sharewithfakes.co.uk and we do look forward to hearing from you. Bye for now.